In this video, we will explain how a three-feature alignment differs to a datum alignment, even when using the same features. In this example, we will use three planes as our alignment features. First, we will explain how a three-feature alignment is calculated. The primary plane is aligned first. The secondary plane is used to create a theoretical line where plane 1 and plane 2 intersect. This line is then aligned, ensuring that plane 1 maintains its position in the normal direction. Plane 3 is used last. And a point is created when the theoretical line intersects the tertiary feature. So as we can see, the primary plane is zeroed in Z, the secondary line is zeroed in Y, and the point is zeroed in all three axes. Therefore, when creating a three-feature alignment, it is the theoretical intersection features that are used. So let's summarize. First the primary feature is aligned. Then the secondary feature is aligned at the intersection to the primary feature. And finally, the tertiary feature is aligned at the intersection of the primary and secondary features. As an example, here we have calculated the position of a hole relevant to the three-feature alignment. We can recalculate the position of the same feature after we have created the datum alignment and compare the results. Now let's explain the datum alignment method. As with the three-feature alignment, we shall use the same three planes. In this method, the planes are assigned as datum features A, B, and C. As before, datum A is aligned first, and zeroes in the normal direction. Then datum B is aligned, this time using the mean of the measured area. And finally, datum C is aligned, again using the mean of the measured area. Therefore, when creating datum alignments, only the measured areas are used, resulting in a more functional alignment. We can now calculate the position of the same hole, and this shows a different result to the three-feature alignment. We shall now summarize the difference between the two alignments. Here you can see the three-feature alignment, showing the primary and secondary features. Now let's create the datum alignment using datum A and B. Datum A is aligned. Then datum B is aligned to the mean position of the measured area. Now notice the positional difference of the right and left hand faces. We now need to align datum C. The mean position of the measured area is used to align datum C. Again, this results in positional difference of the outer faces. Looking at the deviation of the theoretical line and point, further indicates the alignment differences. So to summarize, three feature and datum alignments are calculated using different methods. Due to the different alignment methods, features can display different positional results, even though the alignment features may be the same. That concludes this video, thanks for watching.